Ever wondered how a single click could change a life forever? How the digital world, our second home, can turn into a battleground of words and accusations? Today, we delve into the murky waters of online harassment, a concern that's grown exponentially with our increasing reliance on digital communication. Imagine this, you're an ordinary individual scrolling through your social media, when suddenly you find a cascade of hateful comments on your posts. You've become the target of an online user who seems to follow everything you post online. They take your content out of context, intentionally post false information about you, and accuse you of all sorts of things, from being a liar to being abusive. This isn't a hypothetical scenario. This was the reality for a woman named Jane Doe. Jane, a successful entrepreneur, found herself at the center of a relentless cyber attack that lasted for over three months. Her harasser created injurious blog posts about her, attempted to extort her, and even impersonated her online. This online user, who defined themselves as an activist, felt justified in their actions, blaming Jane for their cyber attacks. While Jane's story is terrifying, it's not unique. Take, for example, the case of a man named John Doe. John was accused by an online user of threatening them. This user contacted John's work associates, parents, and even his children. They authored defamatory blog posts about John and created video clips defaming him. John's harasser had a social profile that was eventually suspended, but not before they had intimidated others from contacting or being involved with John. These stories are not isolated incidents. They are part of a larger, more troubling pattern of online harassment that is all too prevalent in our digital age. It's a world where an online user can accuse you of being a criminal, a liar, a sexual deviant, or mentally ill. They can contact your loved ones, your colleagues, even your boss. They can defame you, extort you, and impersonate you. But it doesn't have to be this way. We can stand up against online harassment. We can report it when we see it, support those who are going through it, and educate ourselves and others about it. We can advocate for stronger online safety measures and push for harsher penalties for those who harass others online. Remember, it takes just one voice to shatter the silence. Be that voice. Stand against online harassment.